Chicha collection? She just loves it to learn. Yeah. It's a good cast. All right, guys, welcome to another vlog. Um, we're at our Cars and Coffee Sunday morning, and we just had a subscriber come over and hook me up with um, some cars for Tiana, but I have to talk about this quickly because it's freaking epic. But it's a, um, like, Blitz spec R34, and then it's like a Jap card A86. So when we see Wifey, she's gonna lose her sh over this. Um, I'll have had to just beep that word because it's too early in the video for that. But um, I'm out here at the car meet looking like James Spilner. What is it, Spilner? Is it James Spilner? Fast and Furious? Brian Spilner. Brian Spilner. <laughs> so I got the Raptor over there with all the boxes on the back. What have you caught? Bugs. Oh, that's gross. That's disgusting. Okay. But yeah, we've got a Gemini, Gemini on earbuds. Russ is 33. Beautiful 32 four door with an RB26. We'll go for a walk and have a look at the rest of the cars in a sec before the drifting gets underway. Scar, that's great. Jeez. Yeah. And then it became it's a million car. times better than when you had it, Banky. We were just, <laughs> I was just talking about how it got like that. Yeah. 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 It still has remnants of Banky here. Oh, Banky yeah. was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, still remnants of Banky was here. No, nah, Banky was here. Was that side? Oh. That was the side See I put into the wall. The back quarter, which is all fixed now. I put it all out and fixed it. But that was. When I hit the barrier, do you remember when I hit the plastic barrier? Yeah, yeah, when you were like, oh, you got your street tyres on. And I was like, no, I don't. You're like, yeah, you do. What that? Straight into the barrier. Yeah. Got out. Fuck, I've got my street tyres on. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, typical um, Japanese 80s rewire it down at, <laughs> at the meat. Yeah, yeah, no, we're just tidying them up. Did you wrap them up individually? No, no you just wrapped them all, all together. together. No, Matty! <laughs> that was... Give me the tape! <laughs> Is it... <coughs> Wait, so Benki knows more about it. Oh yeah, so this is a RB22. Originally the engine was built by Reese Hoppy. Um, yep. It used to be in my 180SX. Yeah. And then we pulled it out and put it in this. This was my, this was the chassis that I came to Archie with. This was the car yep. that brought me to Archie. Um, so it used to be a stock RB20. Um, now it has pretty much brand new 20 box. How's it stroked? Is it bore or? No, it's crank. GDR crank and rods. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So crank GDR heads. crank and rods and then 20 piston heads. Um, oh, so you didn't go there, because normally you go 4AG ZE pistons? Normally is you that would, what makes yeah. it RB24? RB23, I okay. think it technically is. Yeah. But the 20, technically this is just a 22. It's like 2.1... You want it, Tiana? If, if I put a rip in the seat cover, does that mean I broke it? So I have to buy it? You can keep the Exactly, seat that's covers. why I want to put the... <laughs> <laughs> I reckon you should just sit in it. So Tiana's seen the uh, HR and trying to negotiate a sale here. <laughs> yeah. This is trouble. <laughs> Tiana! Tiana! You've already got a skyline. No, I don't. You've already got a skyline. It's right there. You've already got a two-door coupe skyline. It's the same. We'll paint it red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the back windows don't go down. Yeah, exactly. it's not killing us, Luke. Okay, get me a rock. I'll make them go down. <laughs> oh. You're Ricky. Austin. Yeah, Come no. on, cruise with Ricky. What are you going to do with your cars? <laughs> and you had to sit in the back, Megan? <laughs> oh. It's not Ricky's mummy. It's Ricky's, Ricky's wifey. Oh, you got a car still in there? You got a car still in there? We put them inside the daddy's use. <laughs> So 
a bit of a staff send for the morning. So we're out here, it is a really fun morning sesh. We've got a lot of cool cars out here. Benke's having a little bit of a send with his laurel. Uh, pretty cool, 33.4 LS powered A86. A lot of red hot stuff going on for a beginner sesh. It's really good. Bunch of cars, so very good session. And the best thing about the 34, 33.4, is he said I can have a drive, so I'm gonna do that after. So he's put a Toyota Hilux axle in and then rather going five stud like people normally do, he's left it six stud so he can use cool full drive wheels. It's actually a really cool way to do it because you can get a lot of like Toyota surf wheels and patrol stuff and things like that which you can actually look rad on a 8.6 or an S13 and stuff with the six stud. Alright guys, Sunday got ridiculously hectic, um, we ended up having another rollover of all things. I don't even know how this keeps on happening, when I say keep on happening, um, super low speed, like no good reason, four years we went without any incident like that and then all of a sudden, what, six weeks and three rollovers. So it's been frustrating but it, it luckily is a rarity, um, but anyway it is Monday now, I'm being editing videos all day. It's now Monday afternoon. We're here at the Broomstick Factory and uh, Jamie's been here playing with my S13. So, go have a look. What's been happening, mate? I've got all the seams. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, just been seam sealing and marking out all the holes that we've got to weld up under there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, pretty much. I've been getting your Jimmy Oaks on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, literally just... seam sealing. Oh, oh yeah. And so all these, yeah, pretty dip. much the rear section of the car underneath done. Oh yeah, wow. And then yeah, marked out a whole heap of holes and that that we've got to fill up. I'll be able to turn it on its side a bit and have a proper Yeah. yeah. Alright, we'll turn this on its side and we'll have a proper look. Alright, so this is a better look at things behind me here. Um, obviously, for those of you that watch Jimmy Oak's channel, good channel by the way if you haven't checked it out, but Got some seam sealing that's been going on. You can see where all the new seals were welded into my car. All the way right through to the front here. Everything replaced and nice and hard and metal, not rust. 
Um, but Jamie's been going through starting to seam, steel stuff, seam seal stuff up. And then what we're intending to do is go through and weld up all the little like holes like that and that. There's just like a million little holes in my chassis that don't need to be there. Um, like where it had a roll cage at some point. There's holes here. Um, yeah, just all your silly little spots that really the holes shouldn't be there. So our aim kind of is to, yeah, seam seal it up and start welding up some of the holes. So should be all good. We'll, um, yeah, get some work done, I guess. Doing the goo. Doing the goo. You can see from this angle how many holes there is oh, in my floor. Heaps. Like, it looks like almost like Swiss cheese. Yeah. Nice, nice and light. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, that's why I was like, I'm fucking going through for You're right. Going <laughs> through marketing from the outside. Yeah, even in the back, like, he's just so many. You know, you'd never see them really yeah. when it's on the ground, but it's still something that while it's there, we may as well uh, knock it out. Yeah. So this is, this car has some history, I guess. Um, even before me, it was like, man, I originally got this car more than 10 years ago from Newcastle with a smashed S15 front and a CA with no head on it. It was an absolute wreck. Um, and then I rebuilt it into a nice street car. And then it went through many hands, got eventually turned into a track car with like scissor doors and an LS and stuff. And then I eventually got it back as like a dead bear shell. Woo. Things are happening, definitely looking good guys. Uh, we've flipped it over now, getting onto the other side. Just, uh, yeah, doing his thing. He's a professional, so. <laughs> yeah. like it's to thank paid off for once in my life. Yeah. But yeah, getting all these seams nicely done up and then he's got little trick that he's talking about because he uses his finger to smooth it all out but yeah. he uses um soapy or dishwash dishwashing liquid yeah just dishwashing liquid or dishwashing soap. liquid and water and just use to spread it and then it doesn't stick to your fingers real bad so yeah pretty good yeah bloody broomstick factory coming through with the knowledge <laughs> um but yeah i can't wait obviously there's still bog like in parts of this chassis but i'm considering basically cutting this off right here and um still running a rear bar and everything but i'm deciding whether i run like a half rear bar like fd style but i wanted to run like a big diffuser like a big stupid diffuser um or just run a regular rear bar or have the option for both really i guess maybe i will cut it then we'll see i need to get it to cameron's body works first to get this quarter all fixed up because it's a bit pushed in, um, not sitting where it should. And once that's done, I may get them to cut it around here because that gives still a good inch or so for a normal rear bar to fit up. And I'll get them to basically flat plate it underneath. So if I do pop a tire or whatever, um, it'll hit something hard. And then it won't really matter. But yeah, we've got to get it down to Cameron's Body Works soon, but we'll get this all had happened we'll get this all finished first with the uh was it corking or sealing same sealing. Se sealing everything under the car this is something i wasn't i wanted to do but didn't have really the know-how i guess or anyway it wasn't something i was intending to do but jamie's like just onto it um and it's it's having the space to do it too like trying to do this down at the track in the dust and stuff would be a nightmare so um having a little shed to to do some work in is actually a freaking lifesaver um so once we've done that like i said we'll get onto all these holes that'll be a tomorrow job and uh then it'll be pretty much time to uh hit it with some um hammer paint so we've got this hammer undercoat stuff what's called rocket so it's like a um undercar spray or use it for um Bedliner. What is it? Yeah, bed liner. What's it called? Protective polyurethane coating. So I'm going to use that underneath the S13. I think it'll be great. It'll look neat. Um, I'm probably going to do my sills and everything underneath. 
and then it'll go to Cameron's Body Works and they'll be painting all my bar work, roll cage interior, everything. Yeah, and including my um, body kit and everything as well. But oh, first of all, we want to do the undercoat stuff so then I can put cradles back under this damn thing. So we'll get there. All right, that is all our seal protecting done. Um, Jamie's got a couple little things he wants to weld and treat. Um, just some spots where the uh, sandblaster didn't get in all the way. Um, other than that, things looking good, guys. Slow process, like it's just little niggly stuff and not really great stuff to make a vlog out of for you guys. So I don't know if there'll be a vlog tomorrow. You guys will see. Thanks for watching. Please go ahead, grab some merch, support the channel. The shop's been a bit slow lately, so um, yeah, let us know. We definitely want to try and get some new designs out soon, but we'll keep trying, guys. Peace out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow or the next day, maybe. Peace. <laughs>